what are the things that have happened and changed since Blackpink's last comeback? So this is a lighthearted uh, comment and request from one of you guys. Okay, so her request is for me to enumerate the different things that have happened and changed since the last Blackpink comeback. This is all in honor of the, uh, the talks that Blackpink is going to make a comeback this June. I hope you guys really make it. I hope they make a comeback sooner than later because I do hope that you will enjoy their music again. So her, this is her request for me to enumerate the different things that have happened since the last comeback of Blink. This is of Blackpink. So this is just for fun. Hope you enjoy. IU released two singles, Celebrity and Strawberry Moon, a studio album, Lilac, a special album, Pieces, and a collaboration with Jay Park for Ganadara. She also came out with a documentary titled Pieces 29th Winter and finished filming her first full feature film, Dream. Twice has released more songs than Blackpink's entire discography during the time Blackpink has been on hiatus. They released I Can't Stop Me, a full album, Better, Single with B-Side, Cry For Me, an OST for Hospital Playlist, Kura Kura, Single with B-Side, Alcohol Free, a mini album, Perfect World, a full album, The Feels, Scientist, a full album, Donut, with Single with a B-Side, and Just Be Yourself as a special single. All this while doing a world tour, solo projects and more actively participating in the writing composing and production of their new music which have resulted to the some of the best songs of their career mama mo released two mini albums travel and where are we now and one compilation album i say mama mo the best red velvet released quindam fill my rhythm and wild side wendy literally broke her face still came out with great music for both her solo and with Red Velvet. Joy also released a solo. G-Friend disbanded and re-debuted re with three of their original members as BBs, releasing an EP, Bop Bop, and joined Quindon too. Brave Girls almost disbanded, suddenly became famous and managed to get a perfect all kill with a four-year-old track rolling. They released two mini albums, Summer Queen and Thank You. Itzy released their EP Guess Who with their lead single Mafia in the Morning, studio album Crazy in Love with their lead single Loco, and they signed with Republic Records, which houses Drake, Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, and TXT. Espa debuted. They released Savage, a mini album, Black Mamba, Forever, Next Level, Savage, and Dreams Come True. Karina and Winter did Got the Beat, and they performed in Coachella. Stacy debuted. Released two mini albums, Stereotype and YoungLove.com. They released two single albums, Star to a Young Culture and Stay Dom. They released four hit singles, So Bad, ASAP, Stereotype, and Run to You. Lee Hee signed with a new label and released the single Holo and a full studio album for Only. CL released the singles Wa, Five Star, and Wish You Were Here. She also released a full-length studio album, Alpha, with the lead singles Lover Like Me and Spicy. Taeyeon featured in Taemin's If I Could Tell You, Keys Hate That. She released the OST Little Garden. She joined Got The Beat. She released the digital single Weekend and released a third full-length album, INVU, with Can't Control Myself as a digital single. Ivy, Kepler, Billy, Lightsome, Purple Kiss, and Mix all debuted. Luna released Why Not, Paint the Town, and Hula Hoop. 21 has a freaking reunion in Coachella. Got 7 left JYP, released a single encore. JB, their leader, secured the rights to all of their names and other properties, almost becoming a lawyer. They are already gearing up for a comeback despite the fact that they are even signed in any agency and are living across three, arguably five, different countries. All 13 members of Seventeen renewed their contracts with Pledis. They released three mini albums, Semi Colin, Your Choice, Ataka, two Japanese singles, one English single, plus some other solo projects. Even N hyphen debuted and had three comebacks, not including the Japanese releases and other concerts and shows. Chen enlisted just after Blackpink came back and has since had his second child and was just discharged from his service. Sai made a comeback, CN Blue made a comeback, Big Bang made a comeback. 
Trump lost the election. Biden became the president. U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left royal duties and relocated to America. They sat down with Oprah for a tell-all interview, which included accusations of racism within the royal family. Their second child was born. Prince Charles has been announced to start his preparation to become a king. Both summer and winter Olympics were held. Russia attacked Ukraine. Even Musk bought Twitter. Millions of users are complaining I don't understand why they won't just stop using Twitter. SpaceX sent four non-astronauts to space. Facebook stocks plunged and has started to recover. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez broke up after two postponed weddings. Jennifer Lopez rekindled his romance with Ben Affleck. They are now engaged again. Canada invoked emergency powers for the first time in history. They have since removed it. Bitcoin rose from 1300 to 60000 down back to 40000 Ethereum rose from 400 to 4600 back down to 2700 Will Smith slapped Chris Rock during the Oscars. J.K. Rowling canceled before BTS came back has remained with her publisher. Sales of her books have gone up. Movies and plays based on her stories continue to be released. Theme parks are still making millions from Harry Potter-inspired rides and merchandise. LA Lakers won the 2020 Finals after a 12-year drought. LA Rams won their second Super Bowl in 22 years. And Johnny Depp sued Amber Heard for defamation, wants to prove he was the abused and not the abuser. They are now on trial. Soongri has been sentenced to a three-year prison term. He appealed his case and his sentence has been reduced to 18 months after pleading guilty to all charges and promised that he was going to self-reflect. Even Corona made a comeback with two hit singles, Delta and Omicron. Blinks, hold on a little longer, I believe in you. I am going to declare it to the universe and claim it. Blackpink is going to make a comeback for you guys this year.